Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root the ZTA, ZTE source. It's on Android operating system 4.1.2. First of all, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's only through viewers like you that I'm able to do these videos. They do take uh, time uh, away from my family and time away from uh, work. And also my servers cost about $250 a month to keep up. You see right there, Android version 4.1.2. Now when uh, rooting this device, one of the first things you're going to want to do is go into the settings, go to developer options, go ahead and click developer options and that toggle turn it on, click OK, go down to USB debugging, click that, say OK as well, and then you'll plug in your device for the first time. I don't have drivers on this computer for uh, ZTE, so we'll show you how to install those as well. Take your micro USB cable, plug it in. Alright, let's rotate the screen back down so you guys can see. Pull down my notification, click on the uh, USB options. Make sure it's uh, on install driver. And when it's in on install driver, you should come up in uh, Windows Explorer and see a new uh, drive called CD drive and then USB underscore driver. Go ahead and open that if it didn't auto run by itself. Uh, select setup language, English. Click next. Choose where you want to install the uh, drivers. Go ahead and go through the install process. You will need a file that I've left on the thread, which is linked in the comment section of this video if you're viewing it from YouTube. Also, I encourage you to become a member of our, my forum, uh, cricketusers.com. If it didn't auto run, right click it and um, let's see here. I clicked expand, it's under Windows, and then you can click auto run or you can go to the installer and click setup. So now we should have the drivers installed and because we plugged it in, it's still coming up with this uh, error marker right there, ZTE H S U S B device. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in and hopefully it'll install the drivers this time around. Now we have Android phone, handset, ADB interface, so we should be good there. This is the file you want to download, rootmaster.rar. Uh, Let's go ahead and find that file. You might need WinRAR uh, to open it if you don't have uh, another program that can uh, unzip basically RAR files. Or Let's go to D. This is where I saved it to. Because it's only one file in there, I could extract it or I could just run it from here. I'm going to go ahead and run it. It's all in uh, Chinese, I believe. <laughs> We're going to click right here. That's exit. We're going to install it to the C drive. That's personally where I want to put it. Keep on clicking next. And this is, I'm sure, open program. The program's right here. It's trying to locate our device. I'm 
you can see that it's loaded this onto our device. It knows it's a ZTE N511, uh, which is the ZTE uh, source. I'll go ahead and click root. That box was checked. Let's let our device reboot now. I should be able to unplug the micro USB. Just click hold to unlock. Let's download Root Checker. From the Google Play Store. Go ahead and click Install. Accept. Open. Agree. Okay. Say verify root access. This is to allow it to have super user permission. That says congratulations. This device has root access. So you can go ahead and uninstall this program from your computer if you don't want it anymore. Um, but that's about it. Uh, your ZTE source from uh, Cricket Wireless is now. Uh, rooted. If you guys have any questions, please leave uh, comments in the comments section below. No, I don't do this on a uh, normal basis. I have a, another job. So again, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It pays the bills and allows me to continue to uh, do these videos. Thanks a lot.